Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Hydrogen is rapidly emerging as a cornerstone of the clean energy transition. As a zero emission fuel and energy carrier, it holds the promise to decarbonize industries, power transportation, and enable long-term energy storage. However, with these opportunities come unique safety challenges. Hydrogen's properties require strict safety standards and well-designed risk mitigation strategies, especially in industrial settings where high volumes are produced, stored, and used. In this video, we explore the importance of hydrogen safety, the standards that govern its use, the risks involved, and how the industry is addressing these risks to create a safer hydrogen-powered future. To understand hydrogen safety, we must first look at the unique physical and chemical properties of hydrogen. Hydrogen is colorless, odorless, and lighter than air. It disperses quickly when released, but it's also highly flammable. It has a wide flammability range, from 4% to 75% in air, and a low ignition energy, meaning even a small spark can ignite it. Because hydrogen flames are nearly invisible in daylight, detecting a fire visually can be difficult. These characteristics make hydrogen fundamentally different from conventional fuels like gasoline or natural gas, and safety systems must be designed accordingly. Despite these challenges, hydrogen has been used safely for decades in various industrial applications, such as in oil refining, fertilizer production, and electronics manufacturing. The key is robust safety management, rooted in standards, risk assessments, and best practices. Governments, international bodies, and private industry have developed an extensive set of hydrogen safety standards to address these concerns and ensure the safe deployment of hydrogen systems. In the United States, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, plays a major role in regulating workplace safety. OSHA Standard 29 CFR 1910.103 provides specific guidelines for hydrogen systems, including their installation, design, and handling procedures. These regulations set minimum safety distances, ventilation requirements, and material compatibility guidelines to minimize hazards associated with hydrogen leaks and ignition. Internationally, the International Organization for Standardization, or ISO, has developed several key standards for hydrogen systems. For instance, ISO 22734 outlines the safety and performance requirements for hydrogen generators using water electrolysis, an essential process in green hydrogen production. ISO 19880, on the other hand, provides safety guidelines for hydrogen fueling stations, helping establish consistent practices across regions and manufacturers. These standards not only enhance safety but also facilitate global harmonization and interoperability. Another key organization is the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA. Their Hydrogen Technologies Code, known as NFPA2, offers comprehensive guidance on hydrogen production, storage, and usage. It covers everything from system design and ventilation to fire protection and emergency response planning. NFPA2 is widely referenced in permitting and regulatory reviews for hydrogen facilities in North America and is considered a best practice guide for hydrogen safety. With standards as the foundation, the next critical component is risk mitigation. In industrial hydrogen applications, risk mitigation starts with hazard identification and risk assessment. This involves a systematic process of evaluating potential failure modes, such as leaks, overpressure events, or ignition sources, and estimating the likelihood and consequences of these events. Tools like HAZOP, Hazard and Operability Studies, and FMIA, Failure Modes and Effects Analysis, are commonly used during project development to identify risks and propose control measures. Once hazards are identified, engineering controls are implemented to reduce risk. One of the most important is ventilation. Because hydrogen is lighter than air, it rises rapidly and can accumulate near ceilings or within enclosed spaces. Proper ventilation systems help prevent dangerous concentrations from building up, especially in storage rooms, electrolyzer cabinets, or fueling stations. Hydrogen sensors are also critical. These sensors continuously monitor hydrogen concentrations in the air and trigger alarms or system shutdowns if a leak is detected. Another vital engineering control is the use of hydrogen-compatible materials. Hydrogen can cause a phenomenon known as hydrogen embrittlement, where metals become brittle and crack under stress. Components like valves, pipes, tanks, and seals must be made from materials that resist embrittlement and maintain structural integrity over time. In addition, pressure relief devices are essential to prevent overpressurization in tanks and pipelines. Beyond physical system design, administrative controls also play a vital role in hydrogen safety. 
These are policies and procedures that ensure safe operation through human behavior and oversight. For instance, training programs educate workers on hydrogen hazards, safe handling techniques, and emergency procedures. Workers are taught to recognize signs of a hydrogen leak, respond appropriately in case of fire or explosion, and use personal protective equipment correctly. Regular maintenance and inspection routines are another form of administrative control. Hydrogen systems must be inspected for wear, corrosion, and leaks on a routine basis. Sensors, valves, seals, and piping systems must be tested for performance and replaced as needed. Many companies also develop emergency action plans, which outline specific steps to take in the event of a hydrogen-related incident. These plans are often created in collaboration with local fire departments and emergency responders to ensure rapid and coordinated responses. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is also essential in industrial hydrogen environments. Workers may wear flame-resistant clothing, safety goggles, chemical-resistant gloves, and gas detectors. While PPE is considered the last line of defense, it is still a necessary part of a comprehensive safety culture. Let's now talk about real-world examples of hydrogen safety in action. One case is the Toyota Hydrogen Refueling Station in California. This station, like many others, is equipped with multiple safety layers including leak detection, automated shutdown systems, and blast-resistant designs. The entire site is monitored remotely and undergoes frequent inspections. Thanks to these systems, hydrogen refueling stations across the globe have demonstrated an excellent safety record despite operating in public spaces. Another example is Air Liquide's hydrogen production facilities in Europe, which have implemented extensive safety protocols covering every step of hydrogen generation and storage. These include redundant pressure relief systems, double-walled piping, and high-precision sensors. These facilities also maintain comprehensive incident response training and coordinate closely with local authorities. One of the biggest advantages of hydrogen safety systems today is the availability of advanced digital technologies. Digital twins, for instance, are used to model hydrogen facilities and simulate different failure scenarios. These simulations help designers evaluate how a system would respond to a leak, explosion, or fire, before it is even built. Real-time data analytics platforms now allow operators to monitor temperature, pressure, hydrogen concentration, and flow rates across an entire site. AI-driven platforms can even predict system faults before they happen, enabling preventive maintenance. Despite these advances, the hydrogen industry must continuously learn and adapt. As hydrogen becomes more mainstream, more companies are entering the space, and systems are being deployed in new environments, from airports and seaports to residential areas and underground tunnels. Each new application brings unique safety challenges that require thoughtful design and rigorous oversight. This is why collaboration across governments, industry, and academia is vital. Sharing best practices, incident reports, and new technologies is the key to continuous improvement. It's also worth noting that hydrogen safety is not just about infrastructure. Public perception and social license to operate play a big role in the success of hydrogen projects. Communities need to feel confident that hydrogen systems are safe and well-regulated. Transparency, community engagement, and public education campaigns help bridge this gap by explaining the benefits of hydrogen and the safeguards in place to manage risks. So, to summarize, hydrogen safety is not a barrier, it's a design principle. With the right standards, smart engineering, disciplined procedures, and a culture of safety, hydrogen can be as safe, if not safer, than conventional fuels. The technologies are proven, the protocols are in place, and the global hydrogen community is working hard to keep improving. As green hydrogen becomes central to the clean energy transition, safety will remain a top priority. From renewable-powered electrolyzers to high-pressure transport pipelines and next-generation fuel cell vehicles, every link in the hydrogen value chain must be secured with best-in-class safety practices. Hydrogen is powerful, but with power comes responsibility. And the industry is rising to the occasion. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on everything hydrogen and clean energy. Let us know in the comments what hydrogen topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode and